Welcome to this video on getting started with Tableau Server and Tableau Online. If you have access to Tableau Server or Tableau Online, you can log in and follow along, although your content will not match mine. To access Tableau Online or Tableau Server from a browser, navigate to online.tableau.com or to the URL specific to your server. You may be prompted to log in. How you do so depends on how your organization configured this. It could be your email address, a username, or some sort of single sign-on experience. Here I'll enter my username and password. I'm logging in as a user with an Explorer role. If you log in with a role as a viewer, creator, or administrator, the options and menus available to you will vary slightly. I have been granted access to multiple sites, although it is quite common that you may have access to only one site. Sites are a way to partition content, so it is completely separate from other sites, such as across departments. If you are not prompted to choose a site, you'll be taken directly to the content you have access to. We start on the home screen with quick access to our favorite workbooks and views, recently accessed content, and content that is popular on the site. To the left, we see the navigation panel. We can use the site picker to switch between the sites we can access. From the navigation panel, we can navigate between Home, Explore, Favorites, and Recents. The arrow at the top of the navigation panel is used to collapse and expand the sidebar. We tap on Explore to browse the content within a site. The content type menu defaults to top-level projects. Using the options to the far right, we can display our content as a grid or as a list. When displayed as a grid, we can sort our content using the Sort By drop-down menu. When displayed as a list, we can additionally sort using the column headings. The filter options displayed depend on the type of content we are exploring. We can use the Content Type menu to explore the content of projects, workbooks, views, data sources, and flows. Alternatively, we can browse through our projects. Projects are basically folders used to organize content and control permissions for accessing content. Projects can contain nested projects, workbooks, data sources, and flows. We can use the Content Type drop-down menu to deselect the content types we don't want to see. Let's navigate to a project containing a workbook made up of multiple views. From the Content Type drop-down menu, we can select Show Workbooks as Views to display all the individual views of each workbook. Alternatively, we open a workbook to see its workbook page. The workbook page shows the views included in the workbook and the data sources used by the workbook. We also see a list of user subscriptions to either the workbook or its individual views. Views are the individual dashboards, stories, and sheets contained in a workbook. The view page displays options for interacting with the view, including sharing, subscribing, and editing. The options available in the toolbar vary depending on the site configuration and on our permissions. To navigate between the views in a workbook, we must first return to the workbook page. We hover over the navigation path, click on the name of the workbook, and then select a different view to explore. Next, let's explore the Superstore Sales data source. A data source page provides access to Ask Data, shows data connections, and the workbooks connected to the data source. Data sources that are certified display a special icon indicating that the data source is being promoted as trusted by an admin or data steward. Ask Data enables us to investigate our data through natural language. We type a question and instantly get the answer as a visualization. The results open in a new tab or window. To learn more, please watch the video on Ask Data. A flow is a sequence of steps that cleans, shapes, and combines data for analysis. A flow page enables us to see the flow, its data connections, to schedule a flow to run automatically, and to view its run history. To learn more, 
please watch the video on Tableau Prep Conductor. Let's say we would like to locate our Superstore Sales Workbook, but don't know which project to explore. From the Explore page, we could use the Content Type menu to locate it among all the workbooks of the site. If the current display still shows too many results, we can use the filtering on the right to narrow the results down further. Alternatively, using the search box at the top of the page breaks down the search results by content type. We can set any content type as a favorite. This makes content easy to locate from the favorites page. To create a new workbook, we tap on Explore and then Create Workbook. We select a published data source for our workbook and then click Add Data Source. We can then build sheets, dashboards, and stories just as we would in Tableau Desktop. We then save our workbook to the project of our choice. To learn more, please watch the video on web authoring. At the top right, we access My Account Settings. Here we do things like change our password, if this isn't controlled by our administrator, see the content we've published, if relevant, and manage things like alerts and subscriptions. For help on the use of Tableau Server or Tableau Online, click on the question mark at the top right to search or browse the online help. Thank you for watching this video on getting started with Tableau Server and Tableau Online. We invite you to continue with the free training videos to learn more about using Tableau.